of um, uh, of almost anything. Okay, and so so uh, I so we 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 did a lot of AI work on our GPUs, and then and then now in this new SOC in this new SOC we actually have a specific accelerator dedicated to deep learning as well. So out of out of our Xavier, there are thirty trillion operations per second, 30 trillion operations per second, which basically is on four Pascal chips, four of our Pascal chips in, in, a, in, in a drive PX2. It's 30 trillion operations per second, and it's a combination of 32-bit floating point, 16-bit floating point, and 8-bit integer, okay? So 30 trillion operations per second, 20 of it is in the GPU, and 10 of it is in the specialized accelerator, a special processor, kind of like a TPU. So 20, 20 in our GPU and 20 in, uh, excuse me, 10 in this, in the DLA. And so uh, what, Dean is, what Dean was asking is, is does that mean um, uh, there are other new ways of designing deep learning and, uh, and, and AI? And I, the, you can see that we chose 2010 for a very specific reason, okay? And, and the reason for that is this. There are some networks that we know are going to be relatively well known, and and therefore we could we could simplify its design um, even further. DLA DLA is about oh I would say at the at the core level at the core level um, uh, about fifty percent fifty percent not no well fifty percent therefore thirty three percent thirty three percent more energy efficient than uh, CUDA. Okay, if I design something that's very limiting, very specialized, and I can get another another third of energy efficiency at the core level, at the chip level, when you overhead, when you add the overhead to it um, of another, you know, the IOs and all the stuff that 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 is needed to just keep keep uh, keep the, the, the chip going, uh, you reduce that thirty three percent by by some. Okay, but call call it maybe another third. Right? So you don't get the full third, uh, but the benefit is that if you know exactly what you want to run, like CNN, um, for some types of, of networks where you know you don't need the precision, uh, we can put that into our DLA. Um, but unfortunately, there are so many different types of networks. There are CNNs, there are RNNs, there, there are networks that I don't want to reduce the precision from 32-bit floating point. Um, uh, I want the flexibility that, that goes along with all these, all these different networks. I'm going to run that on, on CUDA. And so I think the answer is we believe that deep learning can have the benefit of both. Now the, 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 incremental, the incremental savings um, uh, is likely to be less and less over time because tensor core is becoming so efficient. Um, but nonetheless, there's some benefit to, to be had there. Okay. Nice. But both of them are much better than CPUs. <laughs> but that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask a question about an um, announcement you put, I think, earlier this morning um, and related to security concerns? Mm -hmm. um, so I want to be clear, I, would, I want our readers to be clear about, um, about what you're saying about the potential security issues, specter issues um, with GPUs. Are there, are there concerns with GPUs, your product, um, around the speculative execution, specter, meltdown, array of issues? Um, is that what you're fixing? Um, I just want to sort of ask you to clarify what you're doing. Yeah, did you guys, did you guys hear the question? It's a really important question. So, so this morning, I think there were some some news that that um, uh, that incorrectly reported that incorrectly reported that um, uh, in incorrectly reported. Okay, so I, I, just, I forget exactly what the headline was. It's just incorrect. Um, <coughs> our GPUs are immune. They're not affected by uh, these uh, security issues. What we did was we released driver updates to patch the CPU security vulnerability. We are patching the CPU vulnerability the same way that Amazon's going to patch the CPU vulnerability, the same way that SAP is going to patch the vulnerability, the same way that Microsoft, because we have software as well. Does that make sense? Could, okay. Could you just do a beat more on that? So you're you're yeah. you're patching. You're patching, We're patching the CPU. The CPU. The, not your product. No, no, right. no. We're pat yeah, so we are because we have between, software. Between the yeah. interface between your that the CPU product and, and the GPU, your product, you're patching to deal with that. No, it has nothing to do with our GPU at all. Okay. Don't forget our driver is just software. 
Okay. Anybody who has software needs to do patching, right? Mm -hmm. okay. If you're Microsoft, you have to patch. If you're Epic, you have to patch. If you're Amazon, you have to patch. Anybody who writes software has to patch that CPU. If you have software, you have to patch it. So we are, because our software driver is software, we have to put patches in our driver to patch for the CPU vulnerability. So just one last thing. So you're, yeah. you're, you're absolutely certain that your GPUs are not vulnerable to these threats, the security. The question was this. I am absolutely certain our GPU is not affected. At this moment, I'm absolutely certain our GPU is not affected. Just like everything in life, right? Yeah. Does that need to be patched? No, 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 no. The GPU does not need to be patched. Our driver is software. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody who has software needs to patch for the CPU vulnerability. Ah. Mm -hmm. Can I ask another question yes. about your collaboration? Thank you. Guys, <laughs> thank you for this question. I appreciate it. <laughs> Could you imagine if we went all day without talking about this? If you guys had any questions day. at all, I'm happy that we're, we're <laughs> what? I said it'd be a great day if we could go day. <laughs> <Is that right? laughs> just to talk about something else. Yes. Yeah, I want to talk to you guys about fried chicken. I am. I am. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, so uh, so so. Are you guys clear before we go off? It, it's everybody who has software has to patch the software. Mm -hmm. If you're a video game company, if you're an operating system company, if you're a middleware company. If you're if you have drivers, if you have a cloud service, you have to you, you have to patch. You have to patch that CPU vulnerability. Okay? Yes, sir. I have a non-security question. That's but, but 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 before we go, does anybody have any questions? It's, not, it's got nothing to do with the GPU. It has nothing to do with our and it, it's it could be an Ethernet chip. It could be a USB driver. Does that make sense? Sorry, what about the Tegra side and uh, ARM based? Uh, the, uh, the Tegra side, the Tegra side. First of all, you know we, we don't ship that many Tegra chips. Most of our Tegra, Tegra um, uh, systems related to to uh, uh, to cars are uh, have yet to be yet to be shipped anymore. Um, but for the for um, uh, for Shield, for example, that's an Android, and and so um, Google will, will probably have to patch something associated with Android. Can I continue my question? Yes, yes. ma'am. So, nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Um, so the um, first function of Safety AI platform has announced um, this morning, I think. Mm -hmm. So could you please uh, give us more uh, details on this um, collaboration with uh, BlackBerry, PNX, um, yeah. the definition of uh, functional... Uh, functional safety. In order to achieve functional safety, we have to architect the entire system from the architecture of our chip, okay, from the architecture of our chip to the design of our chip, to the system software, and then, of course, the operating system. For the operating system, we chose QNX, which is BlackBerry. BlackBerry bought QNX. And QNX operating system is the first operating system that is certified for functional safety, ACLD level. 262622 it it's a it's a very complicated and nuanced um, uh, set of things and and it has to do with uh, how they isolate uh, multiple running processes inside the operating system and so QNX is functional safe and then TT tech is a company uh, in um, Geneva and they've been in the automotive industry a very long time and they have a a um, middleware, it's called a framework that is time triggered, not event triggered, time triggered. Most of our, all of our computers here are time triggered, excuse me, event triggered. TT Tech is time triggered, like a, like a clock, okay? So every operation, every application can have this much time, and then uh, it has to give up the time, give up the process to another uh, another application, and it has this much time. So it's a real time system. So TT Tech is a real time oper framework for applications combined with QNX, combined with all of our software, makes for the functional safety architecture. So is it an open platform? Yeah, yeah, it's an open platform. When, when will it be available to? People are using it now. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people are using it now. All of our developers are kind of are using it now. Yeah, it's 
It's an open platform. NVIDIA's Drive, the, the whole platform is called Drive. And it has Xavier on the bottom. It has our Drive OS. Drive OS inside has QNX and TT Techs technology. And then there's DriveWorks, which is basically our multimedia and artificial intelligence layer. And then there's Drive AV, which is our self-driving car applications. And all of this is tested with AutoSim. It is so complicated, right? That's right. Self-driving cars is so complicated. That's why we have several thousand engineers working on it. It's amazing, actually. We have more engineers working on self-driving cars, developing all of this end-to-end -end system than just about any company in the world today, I believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it possible to bring other uh, partners into this? Uh... Yeah, we have 320 partners, from startups to sensor companies to tier ones to OEMs to buses, trucks, cars. Yeah, 320 partners. Yeah, it's an open <coughs> platform. Can you, talk about, can you talk about Drive AV and um, when your proprietary software applications are going to be available for production? Uh, we, so the, you guys heard a question, right? When would Drive AV be in production? I believe, I believe we will achieve, um, uh, we will ship a car with, uh, uh, with level three capability, if you will. Okay, level three capability. That basically, it's got all the functionalities of a level four, but the functional safety level, the functional safety level, and the and the and the and the ability for the car to to always be in control, um, will probably be something along the lines of early 2020, and then a a level four car will probably be late 21, if you will, about 21, and a level five car, a level five robot taxi will probably be, um, I will say 2019. I know it's kind of weird that level five is actually earliest, and but the reason for that is because level five um, has a, a lot more geofencing, uh, a lot more sensors, uh, at some level easier to do. But is there a specific OEM that's signed on to use Drive AV? Um, I, 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 I should announce it yet. Let, let, give us a chance to announce it. We'll announce it. Meaning yes. Well, the, the answer is I've announced what I've announced, right? And I've told you everything I've announced. Yeah. So the answer, the answer is um, I've announced everything I've announced. And if that's not enough for you, then I haven't announced that. <laughs> I'm sorry, you said robot, robot taxi is 2019, and what, yeah. was the, what was the other? So it goes level five, it's 2019. I think level three is 2020, and I think level four is 2021. I know, it sounds weird, right? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and the reason for that is because robot taxi is at some level easier. Because because you know what happens is your taxi service is only available in this part of town. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you geofence. Now I get it. Yeah. yeah. But you're talking about free range level three is twenty twenty. Well, level three by definition is free range. Well, but yeah, it's I, a pass. I, 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 it I, belongs I, to you. You can go anywhere. For now, I understand. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Let me just take Pat. Let me just take this one. Hi. Um, I'm going to switch gears a little bit. Oh, God, dear, dear God, no. I'm no, just kidding. The vehicle Let's talk about security. Unintended. <laughs> so uh, just real quick, 